So this is on fractions, and it's all to be done without a calculator. Fun and games. OK, show that 1 fifth is greater than 3 twentieths. So we want to compare the size of these two fractions, and in order to do that, we need to have the same number on the bottom of both. So I'm going to convert this 1 fifth into a certain number of twentieths. So 1 fifth equals a certain number of twentieths. So what goes on the top? Well, on the bottom, we've times by 4. And to keep these fractions equivalent, that's what we need to do to the top as well. So, and 1 times 4 is 4. So 1 fifth and 4 twentieths are the same. And 4 twentieths is obviously greater than 3 twentieths. So that's enough for our one mark. But if you want to be really fancy, you can put is greater than 3 twentieths. Just to ram it home. OK, part B. Work out the following. 2 fifths plus 1 half. So when you're adding fractions, you need the same number on the bottom of both fractions. And so we're looking for a number that's in the five times table and in the two times table. And the first number we come across in the times table of both is 10. So if we convert them both into tenths, we should be all right. So two fifths is how many tenths? Well, to get from five to 10, you times by two and do the same thing to the top. So two times two is four. So two fifths and four tenths are the same thing. And then a half is how many tenths? Well, to get from two to 10, you times by five, do the same thing to the top. One times five is five. And now it's dead easy, you just add the tops. Four, four tenths plus five tenths is nine tenths. So that's our answer. So one mark for getting um, these two fractions over the same number, that's a common denominator and another mark for getting the correct answer of 9 tenths. OK, on to the last little bit. 1 third divided by 3 quarters. Now, dividing fractions is where you have to flip over the second fraction and change the divide sign into a times sign. So let's do that. 1 third times, now instead of 3 over 4, it's 4 over 3. And now it's easy because we times the tops. So 1 times 4 is 4. And times the bottoms. 3 times 3 is 9. So it's 4 ninths. Again, one mark for a correct method and one mark for coming out with the correct answer. So calculators, poof, who needs them?